is a very special day because on Royal Fashion News, we are doing our first unboxing. Yes, I ordered a couple things that Catherine, the Princess of Wales, has either worn or used. And I got all this stuff on sale, by the way, except for the lip gloss. And so I'm going to show you guys what I got, what I think of these different items, and just having a little bit of fun. So I love a lot of Catherine's style, and I just generally love a royal style, a really great, strong royal style. And I feel like Catherine has that in spades. So I went ahead and got a couple of these things because I just thought it would be fun to share on the channel and share with you guys my thoughts on them. And one, at least one of these products, I've never actually ordered anything from them before and I haven't even taken it out of the box and I got it like a couple weeks ago. So I'm, I'm a little trepidatious. Uh, if I can try these things on and they'll fit, I'll show you. If not, we have little mannequin over here to help us out when we need it. So guys, but if you haven't been to Royal Fashion News before, like I said, my name is Brittany and on this channel, I look at Royal Fashion and jewelry. So that's tiaras, clothing. I do polls on my Instagram. So this is channel is all about just Royal Fashion. But in addition to just talking about the different items, I wanna actually show them to you because I feel like not everybody does that. So I just thought this would be really, really fun and really, really unique and interesting. And I plan on doing more of these. Unfortunately, I don't have the space to do it well right now. So hopefully soon in a couple months, I'll have a space where I can do like full profile images and stuff. I just don't, or videos, I just don't have the space right now to do that. So I'm working with something that kind of sort of works and yet it kind of doesn't work. We'll see how this goes, but without further ado, guys, let's get started. Okay, number one, and this is just because it's mostly been in the news. This is the lip gloss that we've seen Catherine actually bust out of her purse. She did that at Wimbledon. So it's Clarins Natural Lip Perfector. And so I got it in the color 01, so this is Rose Shimmer, and this is, I believe, the exact color Catherine you. So we have a picture of this and why I got this in part is that it came up as part of the story from Harry's memoir that apparently Meghan Markle asked Catherine, the Princess of Wales, then the Duchess of Cambridge, hey, can I borrow your lip gloss just before they were about to go up to an event? And Catherine, to, to her credit, did. But at the same time, it's like, how often do you actually want somebody you don't really know that well touching your lip gloss, not very much. Now, Megan did dab it on her hands to be fair, but what it does is it's just kind of a little thing. It gives a little bit of tint, you can squeeze and a little bit comes out the top and then you just, I'm gonna ask a little bit of gloss. So I feel like it's nice. I've actually purchased it before and used it and I do like having it because that way, if my lips are a little bit chapped, I'm at work or if I just want something that adds a little bit of color, but not a lot, I feel like this one's a really great thing to go to. So. And all this stuff will be linked down below if you're interested. Next item, now I will I'll be honest and say I wanted to actually peek at this, but the wrapping is so nice. So this is Emmy London. So these are the shoes. Catherine has worn these a lot. She has them in multiple different colors. So this is the praline color that they're actually is on sale. So I'll link it down below if it's still on sale. They still have like a tartan color that I've thought of getting that's on sale. And so I just think I've gotten one pair from them before that I'll also show. But I just love how nicely this is put together for you because these are not, I mean, they're not cheap, but they're not like, you know, Christian Louboutin shoes. But I feel like these have been very, very well put together and just like very, very nicely nicely so we'll just start here i realized i should have done some b-roll so we shall we shall see okay so fling it up oh my gosh i do have to say guys i love the ribbon it's like this really gorgeous taupe and they're kind of known for their wedding shoes that's kind of what they're known for so i just got the these are the rebecca pumps so these are the ones that Catherine wears all the time i think she has maybe a couple pairs or one or two of the block heel as well but this is more of the stiletto heel and so again is this not gorgeous packaging you just gotta admit it so we will we will lose this gorgeous packaging but that's okay that's okay so All right, and it just says Emmy London right there. So we open it up, and it comes with a dust bag. So if you don't know some of these nicer nicer shoes, they'll come with dust bags. So you can set your shoes in there when you need to. Just a card, you know, oh, and they have like a nice, I think, thank you note on there, like handwritten. It says, Dear Brittany, we hope you love your beautiful shoes. Please let us know if you need anything. So best wishes, and so there we go. We got this nice little letter. It's always nice when they do that because, you know, you do spend money and you want things to be well. All right, and so again, nice, ooh, 
Nice packaging. So we will go ahead and open it. So these are the praline color. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I don't think I was expecting this necessarily. Okay. Oh my gosh, they're kind of almost rose gold-ish. That's what I feel like. So again, it's it's like a clay almost. They're really pretty. I really like this. Because I was thinking maybe a bit more of a, but I actually, these obviously are still in the brown family, but I like it almost has a pink or red or maybe like a burnt orange tinge to it. So I feel like these are really, really pretty. I really like the color. I was not expecting necessarily that for the color. Because you only, you know, you look online and you're just not sure. But ooh. Oh. All right, guys. So we shall put these on. So they do only have full sizes. So they either, so I'm generally a seven. So these are 37s and they have a size guide online. So guys, I feel like these are really pretty and I like how unique the color is. I wasn't necessarily expecting this color, but I feel like this is like, but that's kind of sometimes kind of fun. I want pumps in like every single color. That's my thing. Cause like after watching Royals for so long, I'm like, I want not only the pumps, but I want them in every single color. And so I just feel like these are, they're, they're not, the, the comfort is I was thinking maybe they would be slightly more comfortable, but they definitely are very high. And so I feel like getting insoles on the bottom of the toe would be good. But I do feel like these are super gorgeous, super stylish. And you just see Catherine wearing these like all the time. And these are the pair I have that are actually the color Catherine has. So Catherine has this exact color. So these are more, it's hard to tell because I'm looking at the screen of my camera, but they're, they're this like very, I would say gray blue. So they are very, very pretty. And again, they're pretty high. I need to figure out an insole at the bottom to make them just a smidge more comfortable, but I do feel like they're just super gorgeous. I love that the price point isn't crazy because sometimes these type of shoes can be like, you know, you're spending this much on like, you know, for, you know, seven or $800. So these are definitely cheaper than that. They're about half price. And I do love the detailing on the back here. This is Emmy London with the little, little jewel right there. So I do just think these are uber fun. So next one I have to say, I'm super excited about, and I did peek at the color because the color was the one thing where I was like, I can't tell if it's like blue or lavender. So this is from Needle and Thread. So this is the gorgeous beaded gown Catherine wore, the red one. I guess it's not a gown, more of a dress that she's worn twice once was recently as part of the promo for the Together at Christmas concert series. Brands called Needle and Thread, and I just love their stuff because it's very, very, very feminine and very flowy and gorgeous and stuff. And so I feel like it's just absolutely stunning. I just really, really, it's just really, really appeals to my sense of style as well. They were having a sale and they're still having a sale, by the way. There was another thing that I, I kind of liked that I might end up getting, but we'll see. But so comes like this. I feel like maybe it was because this was on sale, but I feel like the packaging the first time was better. But it was also on sale too, so I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's got sparkles. Oh, I wasn't expecting the sparkles. Oh, it's got sparkles in there. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, so I got this gorgeous, absolutely stunningly gorgeous dress. So it says it's blue, but let me know what you guys think it is. Cause to me, it almost looks a little purple. It's like this gorgeous blue purple. And you can see in the, the camera too, there's actually sequins sewn in to the flowers. So it, I don't know if you can tell, but there's actually sequins there. And I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was gonna be matte and just embroidery. So that's actually a really pleasant surprise. And let's see, is it down? And it's all the way through the gown. So that's a, that's really awesome. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Fun. That's so fun. And so, you know, it says our garment is made from fine and delicate cloth, which is sensitive to snagging. So just be very careful with it. It is quite heavy because you got to look at all the stuff. And if you were wondering where I'm going to wear this, I have no idea. No idea. But if I'm a royal correspondent one day, maybe I'll get to wear this to like an official event or something. I don't know. But let's see if I can try it on and wear it. Let's give it a shot. All right. 
be right back. Okay guys, so I wasn't able to get it all the way zipped up in the back and I don't wanna force it because I feel like all this is so, so delicate and I don't want to damage it in any way. And you may wonder, why did you get a size that was too small? Well, this is to encourage me to get back into all the clothes I have that I can't fit into right now because I feel like there's something called the creator 20 that when you're building a profile, you must, you, part of the process is you must gain 20 pounds to because of you know sleepless nights and everything or I should say late nights instead so I just feel like especially when I can just see it this is I feel like so me <laughs> it's so gorgeous it's so so delicate it comes down to just like by my ankle well kind of almost comes right below my feet but I just feel like especially when you look at the sleeve here it's just so, so delicate. You can see all the embroidery, all the stitching. And I just love that. I like to cross stitch when I used to have time. And so things like these, I always feel like really appeal to me because I, I, you know, they're obviously not like hand stitching this, but I just love this stitching. And I mean, it's, you can feel it's like a smidge itchy, but it's not like terrible. It's not like you, you put it on and it like feels like hives, um, which some things do feel like that. So this thankfully does not, but I will say again, it is super, super gorgeous. I'll try to give you, ah. I feel like, again, this is super pretty. So I got technically a UK, I think size 12, and it's technically a US size eight. So just give you a little bit. So the sizing is obviously a little bit different, but again, I do feel like it's hard to get, I guess the exact image because it doesn't zip up all the way, but it's still, I feel like super gorgeous and it's different than what Catherine got, but also similar. And again, I just love the embroidery aspect of it. But guys, let me know what you think, especially of the color. Is it blue or is it like almost purpley blue? It's a very purple blue. So I feel like finding shoes to match this may be a little bit challenging. I may go more with like the champagne ivory color than this actual, although I would prefer to go with this. I don't even know if I can find a shoe that exactly matches that. That's such a pretty color. So let's see. I mean, just to give you an idea. So like they definitely they don't totally match. All right guys. So now for the final thing I purchased. And again, I purchased this on sale and it was, and it is the exact replica of what Catherine owned. And it already is sold, it sold out really quickly. And I just kept waiting because I was like, oh, maybe I'll this way. And I haven't. So, but I still will go ahead and do this. And so that is this self portrait dress that Catherine wore to the Festival of Remembrance. So this is. This self-portrait dress is the exact dress Catherine wore. Now, obviously it's not the one she wore in terms of like, I actually got Catherine's dress, no. But this is my own version, my own purchase version of this dress. And this style of dress has become very popular. I've seen a lot of royals in the white and the black versions and various shades and stuff. Um, Princess um, Beatrice has the same one. And one of, I think it was Princess Alexandra's daughters, what, she owns this as well. So this has become quite popular. Self-portrait is actually, compared to some other things, it's like, I feel like not that pricey. So I kind of like that it's, it's a bit more manageable. And of course, guys, I, it's on sale, so I got it on sale. But I haven't even looked at this yet. And I'm not even sure, guys, how I'm gonna put it on. Cause it's like this, I don't know if it's one piece or two pieces. So let's, let's see. All right, all the, the doohickeys you get. Okay, and it comes like this. <laughs> Super exciting. <laughs> All right, so again, I got this in the US size black, size eight, and so that'd be a 12 in the UK. So it comes like this, which I don't know why, but for a dress that's actually purchased and owned by princesses, I was expecting, it's okay to say I guess expecting more, but very much, but obviously too, it came from a sale. The box is nice, so let's go ahead and take this out. And there's obviously a belt that comes with it as well. Okay, so here it is. So it's a blazer style with a skirt. Okay, so my question is, how will this fit? And will this fit me? A, I don't know. And B, like, uh, so I guess I'll have to get this off and everything and just figure out how exactly, okay, let's see. Cause I'm just curious now. Okay, so we have one button there for a part of the blazer. Oh, oh that's, 
so cool. It unbuttons and it's like it's like a little like you just like put it on like oh, that's so nice. Okay. So you'll have to understand I love button up dresses and I love ones that button all the way down to the bottom so I can just unbutton it and like take it off like a robe. To me that's like the best, that's the best thing ever. So I was not expecting it to come like that but that doesn't make sense so that makes it a little, definitely a lot easier to put on. So you don't have to really worry about zippers quite as much, you just literally unbutton it, you know, put it on over your shoulders and then snap it back together. So guys I'm going to try to see. And this makes me feel better too, so that way I'm not trying to get it over my boom boom or anything and, and messing up the rust. So we're gonna go ahead and get this tried on. So guys, I will be right back. So this is a surprise, because this is just a hair too tight. Other than that, it actually fits really well. And I feel like this is super, super flattering. I don't know if you can totally tell on video, but this dress is just, I love it. I'm so, so excited about this. I just need to lose a little bit of weight, figure out what to do with the ladies up here. Uh, so it's not quite as punching as it is. And, but yeah, I think this is a super, super sleek look, super nice, super easy. And, and again, it is super easy to put on. So because again, I wasn't sure cause it was like a blazer skirt combo, like how would this work? But so it's literally just the two buttons right here. And so you snap those two in Put the belt on, you're good to go. So you get a nice professional sleek look with a nice flowy, like very feminine skirt. I feel like, so you got kind of business on the top, very feminine on the bottom. And I will say though, the only disadvantage I see is that there is, appears to be nothing to hold the skirt together. So what I mean by that is like, there could be a thing where a wind blows up and it's like, woo, <laughs> like the right angle wind could blow up and blow up quite a bit of your skirt. So that would be my, I would say my only, my, my only, negative about this. I feel like it overlaps enough where that wouldn't be like a super big issue, but I think definitely that would be somewhat of an issue. So I think you would have to be careful. Other than that, this is super nice. <laughs> this is, is really, really nice. So I guess maybe I'm ready to hit the town, although probably not because one of these buttons is going to pop off here in just a second. But again, I feel like this has been a super, super great purchase. You got the little button details there. So some of them are wrapped in paper and then you got a little swirl. So it's not that, that impressive, but that just gives you some of an idea of this. So the top is kind of this silky-ish material that has a bit of a sheen to it. And then the rest is just, like I said, that very, you know, it has that lace on the bottom. So self-portrait to me is I kind of like it and I kind of don't. And part of my question about it is that I feel like there's too much going on. And I feel like this though just definitely does work. Like you can find an outfit similar to this, you can make something similar to this, but I just do really love that this is so easy to put on. You literally unbutton, put it on like a, a robe and then button it back up and you're good to go. So I'm a big fan of that again, but I would probably wear shapewear or something under this just because, well, A, I do that anyways, and B, you don't want to win showing too much. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of my choices, which one is your favorite. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to do more of these videos soon, but honestly, I just really need a place to actually film them. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.